Yo, yo, what's the vibes, y'all? It's the host, Max So Wavy. I'm back with episode, I think this is 33? 33. I think we had 33. Yeah, it'd be 33. And we got another special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Go ahead. Yo, what's up? I'm Kassan, better known as Jay Cassie. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. Excited to have you on the show. Thank you for coming. I, I do appreciate it. I yeah, do. It's good to be um, here. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So uh, typically, I don't know if you've seen the episode, we jump straight into uh, hot topics. Oh, real quick, real quick. Dre Lee in the back. My man's is here. He's here, he's here. My other, come on, bro, introduce yourself. Returner, nigga, I've been here a thousand times. <laughs> Car. Car in the cut, you know what I'm saying? And we had no PR today. PR had to go to a uh, to a birthday party, um, to her goddaughter's birthday party, but we, we still working, we still working. So, uh, yeah, anyway, what I was going to say is typically um, what we do, we talk about some hot topics, some shit that's going on. Uh, we talk about what you're listening to this week, and then we get into, you know, play a few games, have a couple drinks, and, you know, unwind a little bit. All right, All right cool. Let's let's get it. Uh, so, yeah, what's on everybody's playlist this week? What you listening to? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I've been, I've been spinning my own shit. For spinning real. your own shit? Yeah, I'm yeah. My own <laughs> shit. That's the best thing to do. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Listening to your own shit, um, I feel like for me, I can't do it. My voice is annoying as fuck after nah. a while, but I could see how you could listen to it. That's why they got effects. Yeah, the effects. Now you put the shit. effects on your voice, it don't even sound the same. <laughs> it don't even sound the same, and it sounds completely different. You're right about that. What song of yours are you bumping specifically? Uh, I just dropped a song called Can't Be Low. Yeah, and that shit is fire. I'm not going to hold you That shit is actually, that's just dope, dope. I've been listening to that. So. Yeah, that shit is Appreciate fire. That. So make sure y'all go listen to that. Definitely worth a spin. So I can understand how you how you got that shit on repeat for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what about you? What about you, bro? What you listening to? It's the only day I do this shit, but I've been listening to my shit all day because my shit's dropping. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Stop me when I lie. I just dropped today. Make sure y'all get my brother's shit. That shit is fire. I'm not going to hold you. Um, I appreciate it, man. That shit is dope. That shit is dope. Shout uh, out to everybody that was a part of it, too. On the floor? On the floor? I'm not going to lie. That might be my favorite shit. I told you. When we was in that the shit studio, right there. The that studio, shit right there is the one. I told you I <laughs> Niggas shit on there. That, that Bro, I didn't say you were an emo rapper. I said oh, you are an emotional artist, that's short typically. For emo. <laughs> that's your, that's that's, that's it's an that's abbreviation, bro. But I'm just saying, though. Like that's you feel me? You feel me? Definitely, though. You do got it's some shit on there. So make sure y'all go get my boy shit. I should have wore the shirt today, but I already wore it on the episode. Yeah, but I should have wore it today. Um, definitely go get that shit. Definitely, sure, definitely. Sure. But yeah, I've been along. It's the only day I do that though, cause I'm on the same thing. All, all I listen to myself either. Yeah, after it's dropped, after it's out, I'm done with it. I've heard it, but y'all finally hear it. I've heard a hundred and trillion times. Facts. 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 Yeah, nah. But yeah, I've been spending my shit. I still spend raw wave shit. Mm-hmm. Raw wave drop an album soon too. He's dropping some shit soon. Yeah. Drake dropping on the twenty second. Actually, music is about to is about to heat up a little bit. I think. Not for real. I agree with that. What about you, bro? What you listening to? I like the one, uh, I ain't getting this Drake whole album, but I listen to Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda. Shoulda, Coulda. That's my favorite shit off his album. So Yo, that's my. It was, f- in the, it was in the studio when I recorded it, man. <laughs> that's my favorite that's title my, song. The, the one that, uh, the whole heart, you know, and the other one, Day and Night, Days and Night. Oh, you ain't hear Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda? You left. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I didn't get down to that one. I only thing I got to, the, I, like I stopped it. at, I guess this is a love song. Yeah, I, I just had it on the show. I like, I played the joint with you. Bitch, I'm from Florida. Bitch, I'm from Florida is good. That's my shit, too. Yeah, I got <laughs> Bitch, I'm from Florida is fire. Other than that, the only other new music is A Boogie. He got a new song I like. A Boogie got a new EP. Other than that, you know, I just listen to old R&B. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. yeah, that's the best wave of music, honestly, personally. Um, now, go get my man shit, bro. Stop me when I lie. Even catch me on number six. For everybody that, um, that's that been wanting me to rap. Yeah, <laughs> for everybody <laughs> for everybody who's been like, yo, when we gonna get a verse? When we gonna get a verse? Dre got the verse. Go listen to my boy shit. Um, that's that's probably the only verse y'all gonna get from me for a good little minute. So make sure y'all go get that shit. <laughs> um, what's on my playlist this week? Hey, Boogie, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. Hey, Boogie dropped that little uh, three pack before BOA, whatever the fuck that is. Um, and I haven't turned that shit off. That whole three pack is fire. So I've been listening to the same shit over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, yeah, man, y'all go get that. Um, we gonna get into the hot topics, bro. Cause anybody else? Anybody else on the playlist? What up? Nah, nothing else. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we all covered it. So. Yeah, ain't nobody dropping that. Music is music is a little dry right now. Music is definitely a little dry. That's why I'm excited about Drake dropping because he gonna turn it up. He's definitely gonna turn it up. Facts. Um, what else, bro? What else? Um. Hot topics, yeah. Let's talk hot topics. What's hot this week? Anybody got some shit this week? Um, 
Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B dropped the song. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. But man. I ain't been paying attention to the song. I just been paying attention to that video. To the video, they got the <laughs> cheeks out. <laughs> they got the cheeks out. Word yeah. to mommy. Fuck the song. They got the yeah. cheeks out. Word to mommy. I'm not gonna lie. I watched the video today. Um, and I was like, they like the song's trash, but the video's fire. So I just put the video on, and then I like the song, and I like the song because I like the video. So fuck it, it's, it's it's a vibe. Yeah, you can definitely tell Cardi was doing her thing back in her days when she was. That's I be forgetting that Car Cardi was a stripper. Yeah. Like I I don't forget it, but it's like sometimes she's been like Cardi for so long, it's easy to um, easy to forget, I guess. Um, what you think, bro? Did you listen to the song? Megan went crazy though. Megan can rap. She Megan did, carried really the song. Can. Megan carried the song. I guess I fuck. She went pop for a little bit, so I forgot how she could really spit. But she yeah, rapped. Once they, once they yeah. Them, you know, Label yeah. Like right now, nah, but she ate that shit up. She ate the verse up on that shit. She did her thing. She yeah. definitely did her thing. I'm not gonna lie. Her verse was. Her yeah, her verse was crazy good. The verse she was fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. the same. Yeah, it's rough. the same. Yeah, you see? She the good bad. She she the good bad. You don't think Megan's fine? You don't think she's she look good? I, mean, I don't think she ugly. I don't think she like it's bad. Yeah, I don't. I mean, that's it, it's opinion. I think she a regular fine black girl. Like I don't think I got you. Bad. I got you. I mean, I think she look good. At, like I, I think her face is she do cute. Can, she can get caught off guard. Though, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> it, it depends on the angle. Yeah, when she like. <laughs> It no. on the angle. When she's laughing sometimes, I catch her in a certain laugh and I'd be like, damn, this was a bad look. This was a bad look. This wasn't a really good look. I'm not gonna lie, jetty images to get you like that. It's a lot of bitches lose their val uh, use their uh credit for Yeah, they credibility. They credibility shot. when Je when Jetty image come through, you definitely it's you up for questions. Stay ready. You, you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. And whoever's behind Jetty is dead ass wrong. Yeah, nah, I'm serious. not gonna hold y'all. <laughs> hey, serious. Y'all niggas time. is dead wrong. Like y'all niggas don't be caring, bro. Y'all don't be caring. They do no edits. Yeah, y'all niggas do not be caring. That that's why. That's why y'all gotta fucking do better for real. They get you on raw footage. Yeah, they be like one, two. They be like take it on three. One, <laughs> just take that shit. Yeah. I mean, like goddamn, nigga. <laughs> 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 Hold on, bro. I just was about to bite my sandwich. Y'all niggas is crazy. Um, yeah, nah. But good song. Go download that. Go stream that right after y'all get bongos. Bongos. Also very Spanish. Like I think it's very bodega. If you're from New York, you could definitely run it in a bodega. It gives bodega. But Cardi's from the Bronx, like but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Corner store. Yeah. 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 Nah, the bodega is like everything you need. It has everything it's a gas station. Yeah. yeah. Like okay, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like a gas station with no gas. So yeah, it's a corner yeah. store. Um so yeah, I think that's what I think about that. Uh what else on the hot topics, man? What else is trending this week? Um oh, did y'all see the shit on the Breakfast Club with DJ Envy, Tyrese, and Charlemagne the God? Nah, what's the reason he crying again? Nah, not too much on my man. He was going through it. He was on. What more do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? Straight up, no, that was definitely a classic viral, uh, classic viral Tyrese movie. Nah, nah, for sure. Yeah, that goes down in history. That yeah. really doesn't go down in history. And it was a meme. They memed that shit out. Yeah, that definitely goes down. But um, I guess moral of the story is Tyrese was recently when he was doing all of that online. He um. He was on drugs. He was, like, going through a mental thing. He was doing some type of mental drugs, whatever. Whatever they give you for being not mentally stable was fucking with him even more. And he, I guess, disrespected DJ MV and his wife, but at the same time, they're friends offline. Um, he saved DJ MV and his wife's marriage some years ago when DJ MV cheated. Um, you know what I'm saying? He went through a hard time. Tyrese, basically, even in the book that DJ MV wrote, he said that. Like, he credits Tyrese for saving his marriage. And basically, Ty, he, he didn't return the same grace to Tyrese, basically, is how it got taken apart. Like, DJ Envy was like, yeah, you know, whenever you was going through whatever that was you was going through, you was on some bullshit, you said some crazy shit about my, to me and my wife. He was like, and I dead ass should box your mouth. That was his exact yeah, words on, on the show. On the show. Nigga said to Tyrese, I should, really, I should box your mouth type shit, which is really gay. I feel like you should say no homo. Box your mouth? You gotta pause that. Box your oh, mouth. Your box your know. mouth is crazy. You gotta say no homo when you say, like, you I'm gonna box your mouth. You gotta pause. Like, what the fuck is that? But, but basically, yeah, that's along the lines. I wish I had the clip. I would play the clip of what it was about, but it's even, it's too long. It's like three minutes long. Um, yeah, I think that's why I didn't watch it. Yeah, it's like three minutes so long. He brought him on the show just to check him. I guess he... I guess so. DJ Envy does that a lot. He I checks a lot say of this. people. Like he, he do that a lot on the show. Sensitive, I, sensitive light skin ass. That's that light skin shit, bro. That's that light skin shit, bro. 
<laughs> that's how y'all niggas get. That's really how y'all niggas get. But. Yeah. Um, he beige. I'm like, that's two different. He beige. <laughs> nigga, nah, he's definitely beige. That nigga's the highest of all highest of the no yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold you, but um, I mean, I guess if he feel like he disrespected his wife in that sense, he did what he had to do. Cause you should check a nigga anytime you feel like that. You feel me? About your wifey. But that's your man's too. He saved your marriage. You gotta be a little bit more. It's a way to do it. You feel yeah, me? Like I, that's your wifey. Cause if you basically. Don't forget, don't you feel me? Like, don't act crazy, nigga. Like, don't do not do that, bro. Don't do that. We not doing that. Yeah, if everything else been man to man, everything yeah. should stay man everything to man. Everything should stay man to man. Boxing, threatening to box my mouth is crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? On camera, keep it business. Yeah. On camera, like on your day job. Like, and I, not for nothing. I know Tyrese has had his downfalls in a few years, but he really is like a nigga that's from like a crip neighborhood. Like, he grew up like that. Like he grew up, he ain't pussy. Listen, that's real deal. Yeah, joke. That, yeah. Like, so when a nigga, when Envy said it, Tyrese didn't even react. I think he was just looking at this nigga like, boy, like. I think Tyrese could beat him up. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, Charlamagne could probably beat DJ Envy. Yeah, Charlamagne. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Come on, bro. Be for real. Be for real about the shit. Just be for real. Um. Envy a little out of shape. bro. Yeah, nah. That nigga be biking though. He ride his bike every fucking day. You ain't never see that. Strong leg ass. If they, if they kickboxing, kick. if they kickboxing, he got them. If they kickboxing, he definitely got them in. No cap. Um, yeah. So that's that on that. I hope they get that shit situated. What else is new on the on the hot topics, bro? It ain't really too much or nothing. It be nah, this. Diddy giving back everybody they. Uh, oh, shit. Diddy gave everybody back their rights. Finally. The fuck? Like, nah, they said this. Niggas old and dead. Ain't nobody really spending this niggas shit. Niggas no old and dead or in jail, gang. Like it's like, what are we doing? That's like a slap in the face. Yeah, nigga yeah, gave yeah. it back after he made all the money he was going to make. Yeah, <laughs> after that shit capped, he said, oh, y'all can have it. Yeah, yeah. I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Your turn. Mm-hmm. He said, he said on the interview, though, that Mace keeps saying he owe him mad money. He's like, I did one album with Mace. Like, why does this nigga think I owe him trillion, gazillions, and millions of dollars? Because all it takes is one album. That's what I'm saying. If you only did one album with Mace and Mace is still... Mace is Mace. Mace, you owe, give that nigga some money. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. Care. Give him some money. Yeah. Nah, Diddy. I'm not gonna lie. Diddy has the worst track record of business deals. Nobody yeah, else, no nah. other record label has that, that bad. Birdman. Now. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of it. Birdman got that shit now after he gave us Wayne, who gave us Drake and Nicki, who gave us this. He got it now. It yeah. don't matter. It don't matter no more. You feel me? It don't even matter. Cause now who's checking for like I feel and not who's checking for Cash Money, but like, yeah, who's really on Cash Money right now? It's still the big three. Outside of the big three, yeah. But Drake's not cash money Drake, no more. Drake's not cash yeah. money. I don't think Wayne is no more either. I think Wayne's yeah, just full your money. money. Yeah. Money, but, like, but I get what you're saying. It's you say. a branch. It's a, it's a. I seen on another um, podcast, Drink Champs, they said that um, cash money is the most successful record label of all time. It is. I agree. Hands down. Just off of Drake and Wayne yeah. and Nicki. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they said that they've been... The longest running in, in in their whole running, they've also been the most, they've been relevant. Yeah, like, they were never not even, a relevant record label. That ain't even talking about Rich Gang. Which yeah, was, that's not yeah. talking about the spinoffs. We talking straight cash they money. They ain't even Hot Boys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. From Hot Boys to not. Just off of Drake. Because just off of Wayne, if we just go Wayne's time, solo album to every, to his last solo album, like. Then yeah. you got to look even the background rapper. BG, a legend. Mm-hmm. Juvenile. Juvenile. Mm-hmm. Juvenile, a legend. Juvenile uh, just did his thing on fucking um, Tiny, on the Tiny Desk. That man went crazy. That shit was crazy. fire. That, that shit was dope. Crazy. BG just got BG out. Just yeah, got welcome out. home. Welcome home. Yeah, yeah. I seen that. Um, I agree with that statement, though, that Cash Money is the most, rel- nah, like, most the best record label of all time. I, I agree. Yeah. I don't think there's another. And they didn't fall apart. They don't have a crazy downfall story, like, you know, like Death Row, shit like that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they got, like, a crazy sure. downfall sure. story. Sure. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, man, that's there's that on that. Uh, what else? What else? What else is hot right now? I don't really think it's too much shit. It's been a pretty calm week. Uh, surprisingly. Surprisingly. Um, I don't know if y'all niggas, if y'all care about this, but the dude from that 70s show, whatever his name is, uh, what's his name? Danny Masterson's. Either way, he was on that 70s show. He got sentenced to 30, to 30 years to life for rape. Rape from years and years ago. White, white guy. Um, 30 years, and okay. Ashton Kutcher, Ashton Kutcher, and Mia Kunis, Mila Kunis asked the judge for um, a lighter sentence because he has exceptional character. This oh, nigga's man. going to jail for rape, and, and, and he has exceptional he character. Ca- he got a character like, I, I'm confused. I'm, I'm confused. It was the brother. Oh, was it like? Not Ashton Kutcher, the one who had the curly hair. So not Ashton Kutcher. 
Ah, the one that wore the shades all the time. Yes, the one that had the glasses on every no, time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wrap it up. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think that's it for the hot topics. So, so if we do got more, we get into them in a minute. Um, we're gonna take a quick little break, and we'll be right back. Yo, yo, we are back. Thank y'all for staying tuned for that break. You feel me? Um, we're gonna get into any more hot topics that we had to talk about. Oh, we talked about Ja Rule hanging up, hanging at his concert. What was he doing though? Was he like Jesus? Was he supposed to be Jesus or something at that concert? Oh, I don't know what happened. Did you see the clip? The nigga was hanging up from a cross. Yeah, yeah. some crazy shit like that. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was crazy. So we talked about that. Um, what else did we talk about behind the scenes? Drake's best timestamp record. Y'all let me know. Comment below what y'all think his best timestamp record is. I say 5 a.m. in Toronto. Um, what you said again, bro? 7 a.m. on, on Bridal Path. I think 5 a.m. 5 a.m. in Toronto, you say? Yeah, I'm with you on 5 a.m. Yeah, 5 a.m. in Toronto. With arguably, arguably 4 p.m. in Calabasas, I think, could be my second favorite one. Bridal Path is crazy hard too, though. Like I said, all of them are fun. Seven p.m. in New York was crazy too when he dissed. Um, no, that's six a.m. When he went six a.m. or was it seven a.m.? Something like it was six p.m. Six p.m. That's what I said. Six p.m. in New York, I thought. Yeah, you need yeah. to. Yeah, you need to act your age and not your girl's age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a good one too. So, uh, y'all comment below. Y'all let us know what y'all think. Um, I think that's pretty much it on the hot topics, man. So let's get into the guests. Let's, let's get into it. Let's get into the interview portion. Uh, how you feeling so far? Feeling great. Feeling good? Feeling good? All right. I know it's a little hot outside. We're shooting outside today, change the scenery. I know it's a little bit hot, but um, yeah, man, I still, I still think it's a vibe. Yeah, it's no, it's definitely, definitely a vibe. vibe. All right. So, yeah, let's talk about it. I know you mentioned uh, earlier that the only thing you're spinning right now is your shit. Yeah. So, let's talk about it. Your latest single, Can't Be Love, mm. um, just dropped, right? I was listening to it, obviously, while I was prepping for this interview, I was saying that. And it was fire. It was dope. Shit is fire as hell. Congratulations on that. You just released it, right? Yeah. A couple days ago? Yeah, it's crazy because I was actually trying to get a clearance on it. A clearance? I, yeah. From the sample? Yeah, but okay. I didn't get a clearance. One of my homeboys told me, he's like, bro, I, I, just I, I usually shit. just go through United Mass. He's like, Distro Kid let you. Shit. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's go Distro. United, wait, wait. United Masters don't let you do that? They rejected my shit. I had a whole, I had a whole little, 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 little project that, that was going to be the intro on. I said, fuck it, Damn. and dropped it as a single. Damn, oh, yeah, United Masters is getting it like that? Yeah. No, I ain't talking on track one of my shit. I was, yo, I was gonna <laughs> say that about your shit when I heard yeah. Wayne. I'm like, damn, this nigga got the whole Wayne clip. Yeah. Nah, Wayne gonna sue his ass. Distro too, yeah, Distro Kid gonna let you do it. They'll let you do I it. I sample shit, man. That's why I'm surprised United Masters don't let you do it. Yeah, nah, at, at first they were. But just recently, they I stopped. guess they stopped. I guess because United Masters is also like about their artist bag. Like, they want their artists to get paid. They do pay out probably, I think, better than Distro Kid I was hearing. Yeah. Um, but. I don't know. I've collected a little bag off a of distro kid before, so uh, not a crazy bag, like five hundred dollars, baby. But you know, a little something. Um, but nah, yeah, you're trying to get it. So who are you gonna get it clear by? The producer so or? I had. I'm, I'm solo, so I don't have no. Right. Like my manager, my you. brother. So yeah, he in another state. Okay. So everything okay. like for as far as groundwork, it's all me. I got you. So I got you. I had to figure it out. So you were just gonna send emails to whoever send, you had to send, send emails. it to. I call I call one person. He told me to call another person. That person told me go on the website. I went on the website. I emailed a person. They just got back to me, but they got back to me after yeah. I dropped it. So I was just like, we'll talk later. Yeah, we'll talk later. Fuck, <laughs> well, let's see what it do. We gonna see what it do. Let's see what it do. And honestly, when it sh comes to like copywriting, um, like samples and shit, truly. It's not going to be a problem unless the record is crazy, crazy big. Right. And that's a good problem to have because right. now the record's big, you feel me? Like, I'm getting noti notice from this and exactly. that, and it is what it is. So, yeah, nah. This is like a Work it out when it get there right. type shit. Yeah, yeah. Who produced it? Uh, Doc, Doc Rhodes. Doc Rhodes, okay. Okay, the beat is fucking fire. He, he been producing a lot of my stuff lately. Yeah, the beat is fucking fire. He from, yeah. He, uh. And what I like about it is it's like, it's like you. It's like a drill feeling. Yeah. Like it feels like it's a drill record. It is. What a great sample, but it's like catchy, like rappy. Like you, you didn't turn it into a drill record. You still put your own taste, your own spin on it. Hey, when he that sent it to me, dope. he didn't even send me like a. The the beat is just what it is. Like it's yeah. like one forty two, one twenty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And somebody just told me today, like, bro, why you didn't make it longer? I said it's an intro, bro. And yeah. then that's all the beat he gave me. So I took what he gave so me. So you took what he with, gave you, type shit. Did you have to pay for the beat? Yeah. Crazy was it crazy price? Nah, he fucked with me. He fucked with you, so was it a crazy uh, he, price? You gotta loop that shit, you just gotta keep it going, keep he it fuck, going. He fucked he fucked with me because <laughs> 'cause we've been working together for some time, but on that on that beat, like we got we it's not he's not just my producer, he's right, like my right, brother. right. That's your dog. That's your so, dog. So, so it's a personal me? report. It's, yeah. So yeah. he tried he just he sent me something and I'm like, bro, just don't get it to nobody else. Yeah, yeah, that's your mind. Like it was on some shit like bro. 
I don't really like this beat, but I'm gonna give it to you. Okay, I got and you. I'm like, damn, bro, you don't like it? I this love shit it. Fire, yeah, me, that shit's me. fire. He slept. He definitely had one. He definitely uh, had one. What inspired the song? Cause I love the hook on it. I love like the, you know what I'm saying. Cause thing is, I was I was leaving therapy. Cause I do physical therapy. Right, right. So I'm leaving physical therapy, and I'm he he had just he wrote me on Instagram like I updated your pack. I went in the pack. That's the first one I clicked. And I'm like, damn, bro, this shit hard. So I'm just riding in the car, and I'm like, mm, 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 mm. I, I, was, I can't give him all my love. They abused that. And shit yeah, went crazy. I love, they abused that. Shit went insane. And then after that, I just went home, sat in the garage. I didn't even get out of the car. I was tired as fuck. I didn't even get out of the car. I just started rapping. <laughs> he said, just started rapping. Fuck it, fuck it. Go crazy on it. Nah, I definitely got you on that. That shit is fire. Are you going to do a video to it? Uh, I did uh, mic, like the, the mic, the mic, yeah, yeah, yeah. The mic talk video was fire. I'm gonna put the uh, clip or the link uh, to that in the in the bio of this um, for people that are watching. Yeah, so y'all can go check that shit out. That shit is dope. That's what you sent me, right? Yeah, David? that's yeah. what I seen. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah. shot by Rich. Got the chalk um, with chalk zone ENT. He out, he out from um, St. Pete. From St. Pete. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nah. That's fire. Shout out to that. That whole studio setup. It looked like he got was fire. You went to a studio to do it? Nah, that was at the selfie. Oh, museum. that was at the selfie museum too. Is what you were saying? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm understanding. I'm I was understanding. just I, it was last minute. Like they were literally. Been closed in 15 minutes. Okay. And we yeah, probably shot that, that whole shit. video in probably less than that. The shit looks fire. It looks dope, man. And uh, the drop down mic shit is fire. I don't know who created that, where that shit came yeah. from. Like, <laughs> but I felt like at first I was like, this is stupid. This I is the dumbest too, shit in the world. Know, but then people like started. Scenery, it's like a mic would never be right. Yeah, yeah. like why would the mic, like why is the mic in the fucking, like in front of the fucking avenue, the block? Like, I don't get it. Yeah. I don't understand it. But. Certain videographers have a way of making that shit look valid. Like right. it's like I know that wouldn't be there in real life, but I fuck with what you did with it. So yeah. it's like you feel me. My homie Yeo did one of them, but he had like his baby in the same room. I thought that. Was, I yeah, that's that, dope. Yeah. That's dope. That that's first, dope. The first person I seen do it was Lola Brooke. Lola Brooke. She was on the four wheeler. She hopped off that motherfucker. I don't know what happened to the four wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about she going fast in the motherfucker. She yeah. hopped off that bitch and started rapping. That's yeah, probably that's why she went viral, bro. bro. I ain't gonna lie. Did they get it from the shit with the dumbest shit on TikTok? Is, is it like maybe, that's maybe that is where it originated. Oh, yeah, when the people was like rapping from like, yeah. like some people be doing yeah. dumb Juicy. shit and they'd be like, I was dripping yes. that hot sauce, whatever the fuck. Okay, okay. Nah, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was dumb as fuck, but <laughs> it's cool it, where they're taking it. It's cool where they're taking it. Content creators right now, like, people are really making content out of the craziest shit. Out of anything. Anything in the world could be content. So, I mean. More power to you. Did you? Yeah, you did do one. What the fuck you hang? Okay, for so where did you put the mic? That's what I want to know. So it was like a core is a branch. Bro, if you see how they tie them up, bro, because I don't see the behind <laughs> the scenes of some videographer shit. You got to really get credit for that shit. To yeah. be dangling. You know what's crazy? Branch, I, like, did, I did two of those in both times. They had a whole setup for it. Like they had a whole beam they was hanging it off of. Yeah, and it's yeah. like a beam yeah. that go like. Like where they would put a, a green screen on. They'll hang it from there. But what's crazy is that people are really going to buy this shit because it's, it's in right now. Like, something, somebody just created this shit the other day, and now niggas is selling all the products they need to get this shit done. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Mm. I ain't mad at it, though. I'm not going to lie. That's another reason, too, for me. I had to slow down on the rapping because... That's what I'm saying. It's getting out of hand. The shit you got to do to be a rapper is getting out of it's, hand. It's crazy. <laughs> now I got to put the mic in the tree branch and hang this shit down. Do okay. And let niggas know. And let niggas hang this shit down. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I'm not doing that shit. That shit is insane. That shit is insane. But, um, yeah, now the music can't stand alone these days. Yeah, it's not just about the music no more. It's it can't, not. It can't, that's what sucks. It can't stand alone. That's what sucks. It's like... I understand it though, but that's also what sucks though. Like it's because what if I just rap, bro? I could just rap. Why I gotta do all that extra shit? Think about how many. Think about Drake and them, and how and how many videos they don't have to the songs that we actually know. I feel you. That's I what that be true. I was just thinking about that I get other that day. Too. I do. He got hits. He got he hits. Don't got videos. No visuals. Who Drake? I hit songs and he ain't got no videos. He ain't got no videos. But he don't need the vis the video. Y'all feel like he needed the video? Y'all feel like no, I'm, I'm just saying. Nah, 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 if he would have came out, nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, back then he was dropping hits. Yeah, he was dropping a lot of shit like back then that it's like damn bro. I could have used the video the too. The music stood alone. Yeah. I still no, he dropped the video to Child's Play. I was about to say everything I love about Jersey, he dropped the video to Low key. He got some songs I love that he Even though he like never, come through. Um, yeah, like, yeah, I wanted to see him stay in the booty pole. Yeah, yeah. A lot of hard work going on. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see that. What's going on? I'm trying to see. <laughs> yo, yo, 
y'all niggas is funny as fuck. Like that's video. definitely valid. That's definitely yeah, valid. Yeah. He could have did a video to some shit off of Certified Lover Boy. I feel like a couple of them joints made a video. He didn't mm -hmm. give me those videos. He definitely did like a couple videos. Yeah, he, and did. he actually did one of those mic talks. The one did with Emmy 21. Ah, he did. His rollout for the last few videos that him and 21 like been that. doing, them shit's been fire. Like how they did the videos recreating a whole bunch of shit. Um, the Vogue shit and yeah, like the Vogue yeah. shit, like you know, all of that. I think that was pretty dope. Um, I think so too. I mean, I guess, I guess, fuck it. But your shit turned out great. That's really all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Your shit turned out pretty fucking fire. Uh, shit, hold on. Right, hold on. I'm gonna take a quick break and I'll be right back. All right, yeah. Thank y'all for staying tuned for that break. We are back. Uh, let's just jump right back into the interview. Um. Real quick, before this single drop, Can't Be Love, right? You had another song, it was uh, you dropped, it was By You. Yeah, yeah, By You. Right, By You. Um, for me, I listen to both both of the songs. I think that they sound, one, I want to say that I'm torn between which one's my favorite. I don't know if it's Can't Be Love, <laughs> By You, or Heaven Sent, which I know is a little hey, bit older. I went deeper, like I went I, deeper I, into the listen. Okay. Um, I don't know which one of them is my favorite song yet. I haven't decided, but... I do feel like "By You" sounds different than "Can't Be Love," Definitely. right? Which is dope that you can have two two different lanes or multiple different lanes, whatever the case may be. Um, what? How would you describe your sound of music, like based off of that? So you know how we was talking about Drake earlier and how sometimes he, like he can venture off. Yeah, that's me. I don't want to be put in a box. I got you. You want to be able to do everything. I want to be able to, so. If it is a pop. Artists that want to collab with me. I want to collab. I want to collab right. with everybody. You want to do a little bit of everything. It, yeah. I know my lane. I know what I got. Right. So it's kind of like, if I can match your energy, I'm going to match your energy. I got you. I got you. So you say you know your lane. You know what you got. What do you feel like is your type of, like, what's the music you enjoy making the most? I'm a poet. Okay. So, okay. I'm, not, so I'm not as much of a rapper or I got a you. musician. I got you. I got you. I Which I noticed that, too, on how you list your music. It don't say hip-hop or rap. It say vocal. Yeah. I thought that was dope. Yeah, because I'm, I'm using my words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and not just... I, all right, so back in August of 2016, okay. I got injured in a car accident. I was leaving from re enlisting in the Army. A 64-year-old lady had a heart attack while driving, and she hit us head on. Damn. The first month of my injury, I couldn't like get words out. I couldn't talk. Okay. So when I finally got my voice back, I'm like, shit, I got to use this for something. Yeah. Like I got to make this work for something. Damn, so that's I'm a like, fact. when it comes to music, I'm not a rapper. You just you just saying you just going through I'm the motions. You just, just talking your own motion. shit. It, it started off as therapy. I'm good at it. But it started off as a hobby. Went to therapy, and I'm like, they fuck with me. Yeah. My people fuck with me. I mean, at first I was putting out music for myself. Right, right. Just because you like it, it's a way for you to express yourself and right. get your shit off. Absolutely. So yeah. it's like, all right, fuck. Fuck it. Yeah. So I'm gonna roll with it. So you pro so you just started rapping 2016 or not rapping, doing music. Yeah, I just yeah I just started putting myself out there. Cause like back in like '09, I started rapping with my cousin. He introduced me to it. Okay. He got killed in 2018. Okay. So, I after that, like 2019, I moved to Florida, and I'm like, bro, my my talent gonna go to waste, and then I'm not even serving my purpose. And he, when he was here, he was doing it. Right, he was doing it type shit. So I, I it, it it kind of became more of like, all right, I'm doing this for them. I'm doing this for them. But I'm doing it for me. me too. I got you. I got you. Sorry for your loss too. I know exactly how I feel. I lost my brother recently, and that shit is like, you know, it's a every day. It's every day is a fucking. It's a new day. Right. The, with the shit, so. I just heard somebody say uh, on TikTok, it was like that. It's a lie that time heals all wounds. Yeah. Because grief is different. Grief is different every day, bro. It's a different type it's of. It's a different type of feeling every yeah, day. Facts, facts. That's like, I can't call my nigga and be like, bro, you heard this shit? I you just heard dropped? this? You did this? Is bro? And even the shit like when you're going through something like that, shit that feels so good, don't, don't even, even feel. be feeling as good as it could because you'd be wanting to share it with that one person. So right. I know exactly how that feels. I'm sorry for the for your loss. Um, I'm glad you're able to still. And I don't want to say make lemonade, you know what I'm saying? But still keep it moving. Like, yeah. that's not something that's easy to do. It's easy to be like, fuck it, I'm not going to do it no more. Yeah, so um, I'm sorry for your loss, too. So, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, I, and I say that because for me, when my brother died, I didn't want to rap. That's probably when I stopped wanting to be a rapper. I was probably like, you know what? I don't want to do this shit no more. Yeah. And I found a different lane with it, you feel me, of staying in touch with the music. But it was our dream kind of together. So when it, when I lost him, it shook me. So, I could, you know, the fact that you're yeah. still going and you're doing it, that's that's some real shit. Um. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I just turned 28 on August okay. 25th. On August 25th? That's my mom's birthday. Nah, that's Craziness. Crazy. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. crazy. That's my mom's birthday. I'm going to be 28, November 28th. I'll be 28. 28. So, yeah, yeah. Nah, big Virgo energy. Big Virgo. Big Virgo, Virgo, Virgo energy. Virgo energy. Ote. Ote. Yeah, I'm Virgo. Okay, I thought it was a Leo. Okay. <laughs> that shit was two days ago, three days ago. Happy belated birthday. Mm. 
facts, facts. Yeah, nah, and I think Virgos too. Um, this nigga got my grandma's birthday. When's your birthday, bro? I asked you this before, but. January 3rd. Capricorn? Right? My cousin, Capricorn. My cousin's okay. birthday, January 3rd. Okay. And I, I think too, my mom is, um, I will say this about Virgos. Every Virgo I know, and I know it's not like guaranteed to be like that, but they're good with words. My mom is probably the reason I'm so into music and work. Well, not just into music. My dad do music too, but my dad's also a Virgo. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, so, yeah. I'm into words and expressing yourself because of my parents. They're so very like verbal. They say how they feel, what it is, what it's not. So um, I think I think that that's a big Virgo trait to be able to express how you feel uh, with I the words. It. So who are some artists that inf- that influenced you? Uh, inspired you? Never going back. Definitely Tupac. Uh, okay. Drake definitely, uh, Lil Wayne, uh, Lil Wayne one and then and then not even just that like Teddy Pendergrass. About to say get in your R and B like, bag. Like Teddy Teddy Pendergrass. Get in your R and B bag. Very right. Like it's just it's it's one thing for you to hear a rapper speak. Right. But it's another thing when you hear R and B artist or a, a soul artist or Neil Jill Scott. Right. Yes. Jill that Scott is walk, the one. Jill walk. Scott is one of them ones. She yeah. ran it. Erica Badu. Erica Badu. Teddy Pendergrass is funny that you say that one because um. That was one of my grandma's favorite songs was When Somebody Loves You Back. And I think When Somebody Loves You Back is yeah. a classic. That's timeless music. Like, 28, we're kind of too young to even know, know who, what, he, who he is. But we that, do exactly. because of timeless-ass music, which is not a thing anymore, sadly, Everything in any genre. Moment. Right? Everything is for the moment. But um, Teddy Pendergrass, that, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a yeah, good I one. Did a, uh, that's when music was in. You could hear the instruments. You could hear the soul. Almost like you could hear the fucking engineer press play on the record. Almost. It was so good. So good music. So Yeah, I, I sampled it on um, TKO. You did on which album? Uh, Cruise Control. It was like Cruise a little, little LP. Okay, little LP. Okay. They had like four songs on it. I got you. All from um, Shine on the Track. Okay. I from Flex Gods. I'm going to tap in. I seen you. The reason I asked who inspired you, I knew you were going to go R&B bag because... Um, I heard you do a little sing over of Deborah Cox, Nobody's Supposed to Be Here. Yeah. I heard that and I'm that, I'm like, yo, this is dope. Like, okay, this is more up my alley. Like, I can listen to this shit. Um, that project, Straight to Voicemail. That was yeah, up Straight yeah, to Voicemail. Yeah. Um, now, when I was listening to your songs and shit, Straight to Voicemail album had me locked in. That's the reason I couldn't listen to any other album because yeah, I clicked that one and I'm like, damn, this shit is good. Like, I was stuck on it and I like to listen to it from beginning to the end. Um, that was a really, really good project. And that came out when last year, right? Uh, dang, that's crazy. Probably like a year ago. I think, or 2022, maybe, I maybe think Maybe 2022. It said. Yeah, maybe 2022. Okay, yeah. Um, that whole, that whole thing was produced by TZ. TZ. He produced, I thought he it was saying DZ yeah, on nah, the beat. That's what I thought it was saying. He Shout produced for, um, Future, Rich Homie Corn. Okay. We're close to Rich Homie Corn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's a good. It sounds really, really well produced, really well put together. The samples on there are crisp. Crazy. Uh, you know, some samples could be bad. Like it could be a bad sample. Someone could use a sample and then they put the drop in the wrong place. Yeah. Or they, they like chop it too. They well. chop it too much, or it's too much of it going around. Like you, you have perfectly executed samples on the album, which I thought is fire. You sample Monica uh, before I let go, uh-huh. before or before you go, whatever, before yeah, you yeah. walk away. Whichever the name of the song is, a classic Monica song, though. You feel me? Right. Um, that was dope. That was a really good, a really good tape. Um, how was it making that tape? If you can remember, I know it was a while ago. I think I recorded that whole thing at Executive Studios in Clearwater. Okay. And it was crazy because at that point in time, I was doing like ten-hour sessions. Some of my best songs came from ten-hour sessions. I, I'm like I'm doing ten-hour sessions because what I do is I get a whole bunch of beats. Like I got all those beats from him and I'm like Shh, I'm sitting down to write to all these when I write I instantly want to go record I don't want to waste no time like I, got you. I don't want to let it sit because the more I let it sit when I go back to it I'm gonna probably change something that don't yeah, need to be right, changed right facts facts and it's more playing with your head right. the more I'm playing with it the more I'm like nah that actually sounds kind of crazy sometimes I sit on a song for so long I don't even drop the song right it's like I don't even know because by the time I'm thinking about dropping it, I don't even like the song no more so um, definitely yeah definitely definitely like, I had put out a whole 25 song album why Cause I was turning 25. I didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody told me this, like, bro, don't ever do that shit again. Don't ever put out another 25 song. 25 album. songs is crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's one catalog. So yeah, that's crazy. And on top of all that, I still got like 13 songs here. Like, so I got a pretty decent but catalog. But you record music a lot? Do you record a lot? You record often? As much as I can. As much as you can type shit? Yeah, nah. I remember them days, bro, where I was just doing, that's all I wanted to do. 
with my little <laughs> get my little bread, go to the studio type shit. Dog. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I, that's that's the best way to be though, cause then too it makes you grow as an artist. Right. Yeah, it, it makes it's you like, grow. It, that's real artist development. Yeah, facts. Like, cause for me now when I go back and try to rap, sometimes I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I wrote some verses not too long ago and it was trash. I'm like, damn, this is bad. <laughs> like, this is horrible. I had to delete the shit and restart. So that's why I say it's consistency, going to the studio, writing all the time. That shit is going to keep your projects growing because I just think that listening to your projects, they grew each time. It's you feel me? Right. So I think that that's, that's super dope. And the crazy thing is right now my voice is changing because I just, I'm transitioning. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. So now your voice is getting into like a deeper pocket. A you deeper feel what I'm pocket. saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Wh- I- it's hitting levels that you couldn't hit before that sometimes your voice was too high for exactly. your shit. Exactly. I got you. I got you. Yeah, that's 100%. That's 100%. Do you think, uh, you mentioned after your accident that you lost your, you couldn't talk for a month, right? right. Do you think, does your voice sound different from before than it does now? Wait. Or once you got it back, it was kind of consistent? It's been changed. Like, it's, from that moment on, it's been changing so much. Got you. I to got where, you. like, when I first got it back. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, that's security. It was, like, uh, very soft. Okay. Like, because my lungs were still weak. Everything was weak. Right, right, right. So to strengthen it, I started recording. I got you. So that's that's another thing that helped. So it helped you grow. It was like music therapy. Yeah, and it's crazy because you. when I was in the hospital, I had a music therapist. Got you. And I didn't even know they did that. But yeah, yeah. She just came in there with a guitar and a piece of paper with um that song. I just wanna be okay. Be right, okay. right. And it had some blanks, and I had to fill in the blanks. Okay, okay, all right. Nah, that's crazy. That's yeah. actually crazy. And then it helped you gain your strength, and then you start writing, and then it just goes from there, yeah. so forth and so on. Yeah, no, nah, that's dope. Um, so, the real quick, back to the project straight for voicemail. Was that inspired by a specific person in real life? I be or take, multiple people? Multiple people, that's the thing. I, I always <laughs> tell people, like... <laughs> <laughs> that's my so, favorite shit. It's so funny because, like... <laughs> People say people say all the time fucking with an artist is like the worst thing you can it, it do can because be. they're gonna tell on you they're gonna put all of that shit in the song and that's a hundred percent. You'll never know when it's about you because it's kind of like like I'll talk to this girl and she, I, I I play the song for her she's like that's about me. I was like yeah. Of course. No. The whole time it's not. No. Of course. It's just experience I had and <laughs> yeah. you happen to fit that description in right. some way so it right. kind of resonate. Right. Like sometimes like, it'd be old songs that they'd be like, oh, when you wrote this, this about me. It'd be like, nah, you just like that bitch, though. But you, it resonated. <laughs> you just like that bitch, though. It resonated. <laughs> you remind me, you fit perfect. The shoe fit you perfect. I like being relatable. Yeah, facts, facts. What about name dropping? You ever name dropping your songs? You ever saying like a joint's name? Nah, but on this, on this song I got, it's in the vault right now. I, I'm, I'm with this girl right now, talking oh, to her. Oh, okay. And okay. she left me a voicemail. I you put, put it on the song, you got to throw it on the song. Facts. I throw that shit in the, at the end. Got to throw it. Don't leave me a voicemail. Don't leave me a voicemail. Don't, no don't ever I'm leave me a voicemail. It. I'm throwing that it on there. On there. That, that shit, that shit went crazy. I'm telling the truth. I'm telling and the she truth. Did that right. shit on the way, and she did that shit on the way to the studio. When she, okay, okay. In yeah, the song yeah, yeah. I was already recording, the song is called Cell Phones. So oh, like, so it's perfect. So it's perfect. It's like, God, this is a moment that God sent me. Like, I have to put this shit on there. What did you think I was going to do with it? No, that's a fact. I'm the king of that. I'm the king of if you give me a voice memo or voicemail, you I'm putting it on my. One song. girl told me she'll sue me if I put that junk in the voice. That's fine. So I was like, I you like, gonna get the same I thing like, I got, bitch. No. Nothing, <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, bitch. I, whatever. Do what you got to do, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm saying what it is. Um, I, I believe in that ho- full heartedly. Like saying people's names on a song if you want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Dropping like, fuck it. I'm an artist, so I'm, I'm just. Wait, yeah, wait. You drop what a Kevin Gates said. You, you knew what I was crazy, when you met me. You gonna name crazy gang. You'll drop joints names left and right, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. It be the truth though, yeah. And it be like I'm subjected to talk about my shit. I can I do talk that. about how I feel about One my thing shit. I do do though. I like um. I like screen record that part and send it to him beforehand. Oh, I ain't sending nobody shit. I, nah, I let them know that it's on the way. I ain't. They not gonna make me delete it. Like, I've said I'm some shit in a song and people be crazy. like, "Yo, you funny." They be like, "Yo," and they hear the song and be like, "Yo, you funny." I be like, "Yeah, bitch, I told you." Yeah, on that on that on that TKO no, it, so I sample, I dropped some I dropped some random names, like random, just around okay. just around just around. Type and I like this one for my yeah. cool guy in Philly. She like thirty six. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Cougars. Shout out all the good Cougars. Thirty seven and up. Thirty seven and up is Cougar. We twenty eight. You we said you twenty eight though, right? Yeah. So I'm twenty seven. So I'm, I'm gonna be twenty eight. That's not, bro. That's, Me and my brother seven years apart, gang. My brother. Yeah, ain't it's no like <laughs> if they if they was going into school. Or, or <laughs> my brother's living. age. A cougar to me is like you closer than my mama. Yeah, you closer to my mama. Oh, a cougar old enough to be my mama. 
I told Mac about this shit. I told you about my homeboy. I ain't gonna say his name. I, I was at a fucking chicken spot <laughs> with this nigga, bro, and he pulled Yo, up wheels in the This is the funniest line. story ever. I walked up to bro, called down him up, and we was just chopping it up. So I said something I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. I seen an old ass lady in the car with me. I'm thinking this is Momo. I'm like, bro, why you got me cussing in front of your Momo? Bro? I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. So I go back to my car and I get my food. He walked back up to get his shit. He like. Right, that ain't my mama, bro. That's a cool guy. I swear to God, this lady is going to be my grandma. Nah. Oh, my nah. Yo. Like, you a nasty nigga. You nasty, bro. You like, nasty. this is what I'm that saying. That was old as dirt. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's another level, though. That's like a uh, chill mama. She was in the All right, all right. I'll take that. Nah, 60 take is it. not. I'll take that. 60 is not cougar. Nah, that, that's, that's sugar mama. mama. That's 60 is sugar, sugar mama. mama, bro. 60 that's, is that's sugar proud mama. family that's sugar mama. Nigga said that's proud family sugar mama. That's proud family sugar mama. Nah, that's that ass crazy. That's crazy. 60 is crazy. You older than my mom at this point. Hey, you were out there with my But you're saying a cougar is old enough to be my mom, but that's what? Anything. is Like, that's 14 40, years older. You, so that's a cougar. But yeah, you a cougar, but my mom is 54. So once you hit that you could have went to school with my mom and her graduating year, I'm not that's fucking with you. That's too old. Nah, bitch. Some black, like, it's a black women look good in their forties and Nah, nah. Black I, don't crack though. So. Black don't crack, so you gonna look good, but nah, bitch. If once I feel like I gotta tell my mom that you touch me somewhere inappropriate, oh, <laughs> you too Kelly, old for like, me. Kelly in her 40s. Like, that's different. Kelly rolling not old enough. That's not my mom. Then. Yeah, yeah. Nah. <laughs> she getting up now. What? She forty? What? Early forty? She got to get she there nah, first. She gotta be like, how old Beyonce? Like forty-four. Like forty-four. She gotta forty-five. Be yeah, I guess that is kind of that's my mom's age, though. Yeah, you getting up there. <laughs> so, damn, maybe I'm getting up there. Maybe as a whole, I'm just looking that's, like that's shit. That's another thing, too. Everybody, yeah, we, everybody yeah, getting, up getting up there, up there too. So, so. Cool others, yeah. Know, so, we at the age where, like, if you, um, Future got a song, he say, my young hoe 20, uh, my young hoe 22. 22, she don't keep it pee, I'm gonna fuck her mama. <laughs> we at that age. Yeah. <laughs> we at that age. That yeah. That's that's true. True. And, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like, he needs a. 40 years old. Oh, yeah, future's definitely yeah. way too old. Him and Drake. Yeah. yeah Drake is questionable. Like, these niggas is questionable. Drake like little young women. And Drake likes, Drake likes white girls. Drake yeah, I know. But <laughs> Jesse likes white girls, though, is what I'm saying, too. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. All right, y'all, we're going to take another quick little break. Uh, we'll be right back to finish up the interview and uh, get into the games. We're going to get into some games, all right? Let's do it. All right. All right, y'all, thank y'all for staying tuned for that break. We are back. Um, it's been a good one. It's been quite a great episode. A couple more questions before we finish up. I wanted to say, um, with your music, when I was listening, I noticed that you're very, very transparent. I feel like you're honest. You wear a lot of your feelings on your sleeve. You don't really hold back, which is dope. We lack a lot of that in artistry now. Everybody's a gangster. Everybody got the... Um, Fucking Pooh Shice team ass, my boy. Go listen to Fake Ass Chains, Dre Lee, bro. You feel me? Go listen to that. My boy discussed that. He he hit a lot of you niggas on the head with that one on that song on, on that song. So um, I think that you being so transparent is just fire. You feel me? Especially with someone like you, you have you're in a unique position with your shit, right? Appreciate that. Do, is it hard for you to be open? Like, do you feel like that makes you better or it makes you work? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you feel about that? Uh, that's that's me being authentic. Yeah. I feel like. Anything else, like you said, fake ass change, bro. I don't want to be considered fake. I don't want nobody right. look at me and be like, bro, what the fuck? Yeah, 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 facts. So it's kind of like. Or an artist that people could tell you buying your streams. I hate those yeah, like, like that's. I hate all of y'all. I hate that, all of y'all. I want to let y'all know that. I tell, I tell all 14 of my <laughs> all 14 of my daily listeners that I love y'all <laughs> with all my heart. I see y'all. Y'all see me. And we, we good. Facts, and we good. And, and that matter, bro. I'd rather have 14 real daily listeners. I'm not going to hold you. Than fourteen thousand shits that I gotta pay for every month. I'm not gonna hold you. Like I just oh, because that's once real. if and God forbid I'm in a, you feel what I'm saying, bro. You feel me? Like I so I think that that's so fire and that's so authentic and you don't see a lot of that anymore. Um, so you feel me? I just keep keep that shit up. What you said. Off. Keep telling them fourteen people you love them. You feel me? That fourteen gonna turn into twenty eight. That twenty eight gonna turn into fucking multi. You feel me? It goes so forth and so on. Yeah. Just wait. Stay down for the come up kind of thing. You feel me? And that's another thing. Like. My little sister, she she a lemon. She probably my biggest fan outside of my mom. Right. So it's like when they can, when they, when people can quote my lyrics back to me. Facts. Like that, that just crazy. Make you feel me. better. It's, it's real. Like, it's y'all real. really be listening right. to what I'm saying. Right, right. Like you heard me for real. You right. make, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and speaking of being transparent, your song Three Steps. I know that's a little older too, but like I said, I went through the disc uh, discography of your songs, right? Um, and I love the song. You said in the song it was a pain song, right? But I walked away from it, even the video watching it, feeling 
really motivated. Like, it, it wasn't like a song. And I get you why it's a pain song, right? But it made me motivated because it's like, damn, you was really saying some shit. You yeah. feel me? Um, how you stay so motivated? Like, how do you do that? It's crazy. Give uh, me some advice. So, my, when, I, when I first got injured, my mama, uh, she, they wouldn't let her back into the operating room. And I kept asking for her. And... They wouldn't let her back because she was crying. It wasn't because nothing was wrong. It was because of her. Right. So they were like, we can't let you back here. And you upset. It's going to probably. And so when she came back, uh, I don't remember this because I was out from all the meds. Right. But uh, she was like, I, I had a biggest smile on my face laying on the operating table. Mm-hmm. And she was like, and I was like, hey, dad. Her and my dad came back. Right. I was like, hey, dad. He was like, hey. My mom was like, hey. And I was like, Mom, how you feeling? I asked her how she was feeling. Right, right. And she was like, how can you ask me how I'm feeling when you're the one on the operating table? And I was like, God got me. I'm good. Right. Like, I just want to make facts. sure you're good before they do whatever they, is, they can do to me. Facts, facts. Yeah, so yeah. it's kind of like, I don't know, something, it's, it's something in me. Like, you can call it faith. You can call it the universe. You can call it what you want to call it. But whatever that is in me, it's motivating me. It's pushing me because I know my strength. I know yeah. when I wanted to give up plenty of times, but it wouldn't yeah. let me. And that's, that's fucking beautiful, like, being able to stay motivated like that because it make me feel bad about me almost because I'm a person who could get down about small things, you know what I'm saying? Like, little things that don't be counting my blessings that just, I, I have, a, I'm blessed in a lot of ways and I don't count them as much and hearing you say that shit, you feel what I'm saying? And that shit is dope. That shit is dope. And like I said, motivational. Like, after this shit, I'm way more motivated to drop another episode, to even rap low-key. Hey. Like, I might go write a verse when hey, I get might need, there hey, we, all, we probably all need to do something. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's some real ass shit. Same thing, bro. When my, my homie that's in the situation, yeah. every time he called me, bro, and like, I just want to visit, bro, when my album dropped, I want to visit on the same day, you feel me? And it's like, just the smile he had on his face, right. being in the situation he yeah, it make you like, damn, what the fuck? Like, what am I out here complaining for? It could be, it could be like fucking worse, bro. And and like for you, you in your situation, it was really life or death. So you lived, and to make that shit, that's a beautiful story to tell. You feel me? Because there's also people who did it, who don't make it. You get what I'm saying? So that's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be able to do, and keep putting that battery in people's back, keep motivating them. Um, Appreciate that. Which I seen too leads me into your next post. To give you more praise for your spine, spinal cord injury awareness. I seen your post. Yeah, yeah. That shit is unbelievable. That shit is crazy. Bro, that I'm shit still is trying unbelievable. To figure this shit out. And congratulations on like your progress because you can it. see the progress in the video, which is fucking amazing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to touch on it too much, but take me through like when you're going through those moments, like, and you're in the, those therapy sessions. What is like what's going through your brain? Like, are you ever still mad that the accident actually even happened, or are you past that part where you just taking it day by day, like? It's crazy because you mentioned three steps. And in three steps, I said, the doctor said I might not walk. What a joke. What right. a clown. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm laughing at you right now because not only am I walking, and even if it's assisted, I'm doing it. Like, right, right. I'm, I'm standing, I'm doing stuff I didn't know was possible. I ain't going to say I didn't think it could happen because when they told me, they didn't tell me when, they supposed to tell you when your family around that you're right. paralyzed, but they didn't. They told me when I was in the room by myself. Right, right, right. So it's like, in my head, Everything they said went out the window. Right. It was like, it's either I'm going to make this happen or I'm not. And then it happened in Alabama. I moved to Florida to be in the hospital. I was in the hospital. I was going to say, why did you move to Florida? But I was in the hospital for a total of nine months when I first got injured. Okay. So I called it rebirth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because rebirth, that's crazy. I was going to say, why the rebirth? But that makes all the perfect sense. Nine months. Okay. So okay. being there, I met a lot of different people. And I met this one man. And he said, he was like, I was like, it's always ask people how long you been injured. Because to me, it's only been a couple months, so how long right. you been injured? He was like, 14 years. I'm like, hey, I don't want to go in, I don't want to go another second in this thing. Yeah. Tell me 14 years, bro, what? But he started, <laughs> 14 years? But he at, was in there for 14 years in the hospital, too? In and out. Okay, okay, okay. But at the 14 years when he learned how to walk again. Ah, uh, okay. So okay. I'm like, either I can apply that pressure now. Or right. I can wait 14, or 15, I can wait 20 14 years, years and then here. try because now I'm not afraid no more. They got this new technology. Yeah. Fuck technology. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's really work. Let's yeah. really it's put that hard. It's between me and me and God type shit. It's, yeah. Exactly. Because it's, it's spiritual, it's physical, it's mental, it's emotional. It's all of it, but it's real. Like, but it's real. It's real life for yeah. me. Like, every day I have to literally pick myself up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move here and there. Like, people gotcha. be surprised when they see I drive. But you drive. Bro, I was going to say that, though. You driving, you pushing a whip. 
You pushing the whip. That's what I'm saying. I seen a charger in your video. That's your whip? Yeah. The charger? Yeah. And you pushing a better whip than me. The fuck? <laughs> no fucking cap. I drive a fucking Toyota. <laughs> you shitting me? Facts. So, yeah, nah. Definitely. It, it, I could imagine it being a mental thing. Like I said, all kudos to you and, and congratulations on all your like Appreciate success it. as far as getting better with the shit. You feel what I'm saying? Um, seven years ago, you said it happened, right? Yeah. And then I, for the whole first, the first three years, I had on and off therapy. They just wouldn't give me what I needed, and I felt their junk was off. But yeah. one day, my cousin, she real spiritual, she was like, God told me to tell you go buy a walker. Mm. I kept putting it off. I moved down here. I had a uh, caregiver. She came in. She was like, you should buy a walker. I'll help you if you need me to. Right. She like, I was like, all right. I bought a walker. I stood up for the first time on the side of my bed, and after that, I was like, I need therapy. Yeah. I need therapy. Need therapy. And Tampa, I hear Tampa has really good doctors. And, the best. And she, yeah, they say that. They say like, that Tampa Bay, like, has really, really. My niece, when she was younger, um, she was sick. She had cancer. And she went to a hospital in Tampa. And she's been in remission for years and years. So now, like, you know what I'm saying? So a, I hear that Tampa lesson. has really good, really good doctors. So I don't even want to go nowhere else because I'm like, I can't find the therapy and I can't have the access that I have here. Here in Florida. Facts. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, nah, man. Again. Keep going, keep going hard. You definitely motivating me. I'm not gonna hold you. Keep motivating me. You said you're from Alabama, right? Yeah, Birmingham. Alabama. Okay, Birmingham, Alabama. How long you been here? Uh, since 2019. Since 2019. 2019. All right. Yeah, definitely. Well, like I said, keep going hard. Keep going hard. We're gonna take another quick break. Um, when we come back, we are gonna play a game. Yeah. Play a couple games, and then uh, yeah, then we should be finishing up after that, all right? Sure. All right. All right, y'all, we are back. Thank y'all for that break. Uh, we are on the final leg of the interview. It's been good. Has it been good for you? Because I keep great. saying it's been good. It's been it's been great, man. It's been a pleasure to be here. Okay, real, okay. Yeah, yeah, nah, thank you. Real conversation. Yeah, real conversation, real vibe. Real conversation. That's, what I, that's, that's the goal. That's the goal. Make you feel like you already met us before kind it, of thing. Exactly. You feel me? That, that, this don't feel nothing. Don't like feel nothing new. different. Cool, cool. That's that's good to know. All right, so we are going to play a game on here really quickly. Uh, we're going to do a couple rounds. This game is called Lyrically Correct. I seen this game on Instagram a lot. Um, I don't. I'm gonna tag the people in who made the game. Maybe, maybe I don't know. We could do some business. You feel me? Because I'm gonna make this a segment of the show. So if y'all see this, I'm gonna tag y'all. Make sure y'all get back to me, and we could. You know what I'm saying? We can make some work. A little ad, a little sponsor kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's called. Oh shit! It's called Lyrically Correct. It's a trivia game All based right. off of '90s and 2000s hip hop and R&B. I think I can handle that. Yeah, you brought up Teddy Pendergrass. Yeah, I think you I sung can. a little Deborah Cox. I think you'll be all right. I think, I think you'll right. be all right. So we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do. I'm gonna ask you. I'll probably say five questions. For everyone you get wrong, you gotta take a shot. Is that cool? That's cool. All right, cool. We could take the shots off the camera because I ain't got no shot glasses right now, so uh, we could take them off the camera. All right. Um, but we gotta start it up. We gotta start it up. You're the first person I'm playing a game with, even though I've had these cards for the last few episodes. I've just forgot to bring them, so. Um, let's get it. Yeah, let's let's get into it real quick. Quick little shuffle. All right, question number one. Oh, maybe I should shuffle again. My shuffle was a little weak. Hold on. Y'all boys can play too. If sh they if he get the answer wrong, y'all got to tell me which uh, what the right answer is. Let's hit it. Where can you find Fifty Cent? In the club. Uh, in a club, good shit, good shit. That was a Your good. Pocket full of dough. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Good shit. We were just talking about that album. Uh, what did the big timers wear with their gator boots? Gator boots with the pimp down Gucci suit. Oh shit! I would have got that got wrong. No I would have got that wrong. <laughs> that's the only part I know. I'm still fly. Like, I was like, I was like five years old. Five that years old. Like yeah, the good times though. Good times. That was a good time Real in hip hop. Good music. All right. Damn, this one I don't know either, but Jodeci would give up their money, house, and cars for what? Take my money. Yeah, that's that shit. <laughs> my, my house, house and, and my cars. Oh, shit, I know. For a little. You? Is it her? I think so. One hit of me. One hit of you. One hit of you. Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. That's it. That's right. it. That's it. That's it. Close enough. Close enough. So I'll give it. I'll give it. All right. I got the same easy jokes. Out. Let's go. How did Carl Thomas know it was love at first sight? Carl Thomas. 
know from the way she looked at me. Facts from the way she looked at him. That's a fact. That's a fact. That might have been more than five. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a few more. What couldn't Missy stand against her window? The rain. The rain. Everybody know that. The I rain. can't stand the rain. <laughs> It's my window. All right. When did Genuine realize his whole life has changed? When you came in. Okay. I'll tell Everybody know that one too. Classic. All right. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. Hey, and these kind of smooth. For these kind of smooth. These are smooth. You know what I'm saying? Really test you, test you knowing the music type shit. All right. We're going to do the last one. You did good. You got to take no shots. That's why. Yeah, you don't hit that shit. You don't hit it. You hit all these shits. All right. Last one. Let's go. What was in Plaz's pocket? What's in my pocket, dog? Big face, Honda. <laughs> Real Florida. You got to know. You, hey, you got to know. Well, then no more. What's in my pocket, dog? Big face, Honda. Good job. Great job. Great job. We need some sound effects around this motherfucker because you did good. You didn't even have to fucking, um, you ain't got to take one shot. You feel me? Not even one shot. So there's that. And then, of course, to finish up really quickly, um, everybody who comes on the show for the first time, it's a segment where, because the show is called Sorry For What, uh, we tread ourselves on honesty here, saying whatever the fuck we want to say. If, name a time that you did something or something happened and you felt like, and maybe you should be sorry for it, but you're really not sorry. You're actually not sorry at all. Uh, I think my biggest thing, it don't matter who it is, if I, I'm cutting you off. Mm. <laughs> Facts. Anybody gets cut off. I'm cutting. I'm cutting you off. And and it could. I, it could be my fault sometimes. <laughs> but I, I'm gonna take accountability for my part. And if you don't take accountability on your end, then what's left? Then what's left to do but cut you off? Right. Yeah. Mm. Ain't no need to be sorry for that shit. That's a fact. That's something good not to be yeah, sorry so, so, for. Sorry, not How sorry. Be, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, not sorry. I had to cut you off. You left me no choice. Right. You gave me no options. So yeah. Facts. Facts. Um, Again, man, thank you so much for coming to the show. You can come back anytime. You know what I'm Appreciate saying? We don't ever mind it. You see, my boy came one time. My boy come all the time. Whenever he want to come, he pull up his type shit. So yeah, anytime you feel in the same way, you could definitely slide. Um, it's been real. Real, real. Episode, I think we said 34, right? 33. 33, 34, whatever. 30-something. Episode 30-something. It's been great. Um, thank y'all so much for staying tuned. And, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all next week. You know what I'm saying? We'll be back. Have a good one.